And I think I'm live. Elvis has entered. Uh, hello there. It's Sushi. It's useless gaming. Okay. Natasha Becker, Jennifer Rogers. Hello. There's Vanessa. There's my peach, peaches. Thank you. Me and Melanie both say thank you for the baby gift. He's going to look cute in during overalls. Natasha, how are everybody doing good tonight? We hope. Caleb, what's up? Uh, I'd like to say happy birthday to Caleb. He turned 15 the other day. He still ain't took driver's ed, by the way. Bobby, say something. I just, oh, that's not mine. I ain't supposed to look at that. In case I want to type something in. Well, hello and happy October 20, I don't know what, 6 or something like that. What's the day, honey? October, see, I got it right. Happy October 26. Hope everyone is doing well. When KD supposed to be here? He was. I, I forgot to call him. Dang it. Okay. Anyway, sometimes I forget to do stuff. Um, nobody has said anything since I got here, honey. Don't nobody like me no more. Mmm. Mmm. Well, since ain't nobody talking, I can lick it. I didn't just say that. Yes, I did. So what is this for the cream cheese Danish thingy? Yeah. Yeah. Since Melanie's pregnant and she's gaining weight, I think she's trying to make me gain weight too. Just saying. Oh, uh, honey, I've been on here. Nobody said a word. It ain't changed. It ain't moved. It ain't done anything. Really. Is anybody else? Internet? Uh, See what I mean? It hadn't moved. You can mess it up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Okay. They are talking because I'm not there with you. <laughs> Clorinda, she's trying to be funny. There you go. Okay, so. <laughs> yes, I am Dixie. Because you don't always get to mix and stick. You know what I mean? So this is Melly's mama's famous. Cream cheese Danish thing in my jiggy. Mm, it is so good. November 30th. What's well, November 30th, Caleb? You start driver's in? Hello, Jim for Rogers. Everyone, okay. Oh, you told the a-holes off today. Well, way to go, Peaches. Peaches told the a-holes off today. Now you're probably blocked. But oh, well. Oh, country boy, lonely landscape. Working at a haunted house tonight. He wants me to wish him luck. You will have a good time. Melanie, I think I'm done with this thing. I don't even think I got to put it in the dishwasher. Hey, you need to fit the chicken. All right. So, okay. You, you're always trying to be funny, Clorinda. L look at you. What are you saying, Miss Price? I just bad to watch a commercial to get in here. You just bad to watch. Oh, uh, okay. So you you just I just bad to watch. What kind of bad commercial did you have to watch, Miss Price? Drivers Ed, good for you, Caleb. Good for you. Natasha, thank you, Natasha. Elvis, we know you. Elvis is not dead. He's just on vacation. All right, we all know this. So. And Peaches, you're exactly right. Oh, well. I mean, so what if you got blocked? Where did you get blocked from? Nothing. You're not missing nothing. Jennifer Mail is doing great. Um, Baby John is not cooperating. 
He is moving. He is rolling. He is jumping. Come here, honey. Everybody wants to know how you're doing. It's okay. We, she got her apron on. She said, she's good. Come on. Okay. All right, go ahead. Put your little knees up in the seat and get on. See, you want to know how she's doing? This is how she's doing. It's, <laughs> they said they want to know how Baby John's doing. He's busy. He's busy. He's up here. He's down here. I don't see him. He's down low right now. This daddy's baby. This daddy's baby, and then I'll get that baby. I'll get that baby sugar. I'll get. He went right there. I can feel him. So he does. He does it all. He's in. He's out. He's just whatever. And he, he does. And he's probably gonna be like two before he learns how to walk because everybody's gonna carry him and tote him around. So there you go. So there you go, Jennifer. Now you know how many in the baby are. J Jamie's at work. Well, tell her hello. Hope everybody's well. I can't. I can't ask her about Mandy. Darn it. Haley Tillman. Hello, Haley Tillman. Miss Patty Sanders. Hey, darling. How are you? <laughs> okay, Miss Price. I'll let you slide. No, you didn't. Just say I was licking your beater. It's not my beater. It was her beater. Ha ha. Haley, huh? You get me lost sometimes. As soon as I get, I'm. <laughs> you can't drive to my house, Caleb. You don't know where I live. Haley Tillman, how you? Hey, what happened? I don't know what happened. I missed. I must have missed something. I don't see anything on the screen. Maybe you should reboot. Oh, he's right there, but not working in the supermarket. That's right. How do you see Haley when I don't see Haley? That's, hmm. Luis. Wow, exactly. Mel's getting big. Honey, Caleb said hello, Mel and John. Okay, Haley, you be right back. Pronounce my last name right. Gilliam. It's Gilliam. Amanda Gilliam. There you go. Yeah, I went to school with a Greg Gillum. So it's Amanda Gillum. I got you. And Peaches says you're cute preggers. Oh, hey, okay. Her comp is, I got you. All right, I'm there. Thank you, Jennifer. I think so too. <laughs> as soon as Nash gets here, Clarinda says we're getting another gift because that's how sweet she is, you know. Exactly. We were glad baby John is doing well also, but it's just John with an N. We're not going to use the H. That's just like John. We're just going to do John. It's not John. So. All right. Josh has got a huge surprise that he's got. Looks like he's got everything ready for this Saturday. It's going to be awesome. I need your P.O. box. 149. P.O. box 149. 149. P.O. box 149. Micro. M-I-C-R-O. Micro N-C. Two seven five five five. Two seven five five five. That's very easy. Good choice of film on your TV Toy Story. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, Elvis. Oh, they watch the Toy Story in the background. Oh, okay. My bad. I didn't know. OMG, what's blank, April? What's blank? Ha ha. I told you, I went to school with a Greg Gillum. I knew what I was talking about. Hey, Miss April, we don't need to talk ugly on here. We can say stuff. Just saying stuff. When are we going to see this film? We This Saturday, Liam, 
Um, Josh will have the link. It should be on my Facebook and my Twitter. Um, and uh, it's Dark One Films. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's kind of cheesy. Okay? It's kind of... Okay, it ain't kind of cheesy. It's very, it's very cheesy, but we had a really good time playing and making it. So, thank you, Josh. Uh, it was it was kind of awesome. I mean, and Josh did this like in one room, one room. I mean, we never had to leave or nothing. Except, I mean, I had to pee, of course, but you know, hey. Uh. How has your week been? Week was great. KD and I left last Thursday, went to Pittsburgh, and went to Lee. 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 I'm thinking Leesburg. Went to Lou and Tracy McTaggart's wedding reception, which, by the way, was awesome. They had a little Rottweiler on the wedding cake. I tweeted it. Some of you may saw it. But we had a great time. Um, me and KD rode around Pittsburgh and saw cool stuff. Um, and we were going to carry the, the guitar to Helene. Hold on, let me read. Let's see here. All uh, right. So, micro, you see, because it's so tiny. Correct, Clorinda. So, the whole time, everybody knows this whole time I've been saying we're going to Pittsburgh, we're going to Pittsburgh to a wedding. Well, we're going to deliver Helene's guitar because she lives in Pennsylvania, right? She lives in Philly. It was like five hours one way. So we had to end up mailing it. Sorry, Helene, but we just didn't have time to go to Philly and then come all the way back to Pittsburgh. That would have been like driving home again. So, oh, well. The wedding, Natasha, was awesome. The wedding reception was great. We had a good time. No, you didn't. Did. Yes, it'll be up later, Peaches. Just because you met one Martinsville tickets don't mean you got to rub it in everybody's face. Dixie, you just got a job, and you got another job interview? Girl. Don't leave, April, just because you can't see nothing. You can still hear me. I mean, like right now, I could be flipping you off, but you not know it because it never really happened because you got a blank screen. See? You got to sneeze. I thought about you last night, Clarice. I watched Silence of the Lambs last night. It was very good, Clarice. Yes, tell her, D. No, April, stay. Hang out with us. The Lonesome Curse film is done, edited, and it is awesome. And the soundtrack will is done by me and my friend. I hope it won't your deaf friend, just saying. I ain't trying to be ugly, Josh, but a deaf friend is not a whole lot of help on a soundtrack. I'm not trying to be ugly, just making a statement. Does that sound correct? Okay. I mean, that's like if you got like a, a, a dog that's deaf or something. What do you name it? Just saying, you know, not trying to be ugly at all. Please don't think I am. The film will be on YouTube and Roku. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you won race tickets, Peaches. It's fine, D. I would love to talk to your daughter. It's okay if she can't type. I can't type. I got two fingers. This is this is how I type. Just like this. And my spelling. If it won't for autocorrect, girl, let me just tell you right now, it'd be terrible. Terrible. And I'd spell terrible too. T U R R R. I triple B L E. Terrible. I am so sorry you're sick, Clarice. But this is Halloween. You can rent Silence of the Lambs. You can watch me and Katie's cheesy little B movie. It'll be fun. Um, okay, Dixie, look, you can't be choosy, all right? You got to work. If you work nights, you work nights. You get a shift differential. You make more money, okay? Really? I don't watch Walking Dead, Jennifer, but my little boy does, and he loves it. He absolutely loves The Walking Dead. 
He says they got a part that I should try out for. But, oh, well, they haven't called me yet. Hi, Bobby. Hey, darling, how are you? I hope you're doing good and you type my name correctly and you do using emojis. That is awesome. Peaches has got the sneezy crud, too. Hmm. My nose is running, but I ain't got the sneezy crud. Now, I said anyway. Oh, poor Peaches. Woke up Saturday morning that way. That's terrible. What am I doing for Halloween? I will be at the Craven County Fair all day and most of the night. Because, didn't you say at 10 o'clock? At 10 o'clock, the zombies get in free. So, I mean, I got to hang around for the zombie show. Just saying. Um, this Thursday, I'm just going to go ahead and let it out. This Thursday, I leave for Georgia because my little boy is graduating from the Federal Correctional Institute, little training school he goes to. And he has done so good. He was telling me when he was shooting the other day, the instructor told him, hey, why don't you try putting some in different holes so we can count them? And I was like, that's daddy's baby right there. So I just had to throw that out there that I am so, so proud of my baby boy. I got another baby boy coming, and I'm sure I will be just as proud of him. Uh, well, I'm sorry you're sick, Linda, but hopefully you're getting better. Yes, really, Dixie. Look, I used to work second shift, and I liked it because, like, when you got off work, you could still go out because the clubs were still open. You know, if you got off at 11, hey, people didn't care until 11. You was right on. And then you could drink, and you could go home, and you could sleep in the next day and still make it work on time. Perfect. See, Jennifer loves to walk in dead. And Patty has just given me some emojis. She gives me loves, but then she's got a broken heart. Can't quite figure that one out. Dix is sneezing. I'll oh, just take you some cl Claritin or something. You'll be all right. You got straight A's. That is a good girl. Way to go. You know, for getting straight A's, I think that mama should carry you to the mall. Just saying. And I think she should carry you to buckle. Just saying. Thank you, Clorinda. Um, you know where to mail them to, and when I get them, I will send you a check, or I can send it beforehand, however how you want to do it. <laughs> Vanessa has just got out of class. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Peaches. Way to go to my baby boy, Hunter. I'm proud of him. Come on to Craven County Fair. Me and KD are going to be there, just hanging out, whatever, you know. And if I want to sell stuff with Get Licked on it, <gasps> I've got the trademark. I can. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that wonderful? Not that I won't sell anything with the reptile toe and stuff, but if I want to sell Get Lick stuff, I can because I got the trademark. So, hmm, this is my trademark papers from the United States of America. Wow. It's mine. Oh, let's hope nobody else copies it because I've got the trademark. Just saying. Okay. Good. Clorinda has a voice. Not that we can hear you, but okay. I will tell him you said congrats. Thank you, Clorinda. He is a good boy. Thank you, Louise. I, I, okay. I, look. Or right, look, I didn't mean like, you know what I mean. You can just go hang out with friends or something afterwards. I don't mean a nightclub. You're reading too much into it. There you go, Caleb Zertek. It doesn't work for me unless I take two. He flew to Vegas. Without you, that was wrong, Jennifer. He should have took you to Vegas. And you should give it a try. Yep, I got a get lick trademark. It would you like me to show it to you again? Look. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. I'm glad, Helene. So, honey, I am very sorry that me and Crazy Dave could not deliver it. 
but it was too far away and we couldn't get back for the wedding. And I do, again, I apologize. I apologize, but you did get it and it's all good. You could trade, you can't trademark Bobby Brantley because that's my name, but you could, I mean, you can't trademark Team Bobby because somebody else already has it. That's okay. Nobody wants Team Bobby shirts anyway, but you could probably do Bobby Brantley team. You probably could. She is not too young for Buckle. If that baby wants Buckle, hey, speaking of, you may not have to go to Buckle. What size of them jeans you got on Facebook for sale? Mm -hmm. Melanie has got some little miss me girl size eight. Who's Facebook? Yours or mine? Nine. You go to Melanie Brantley and look, she's got some miss me jeans. They look like new size eight for a little girl. All three pairs, fifty dollars together. So three pair, fifty bucks. They're yours or can be. Yes, you can now wear your get lit shirt, peaches. <laughs> I love it. I did get the trademark. I got no idea what you just said, Helene. Well, Dixie, if they're into bed, then make new friends. That's just all I'm saying. There you go. I, I like the way you think, Clorinda. Oh, well, yeah, if you got the baby, you got to stay home and put the baby in school. Congress? What the hell are you talking about, Vanessa's Congress? <laughs> okay, that's good, Josh. And I won't try to be ugly. I really won't try to be ugly. I was just like, I hope it ain't the guys there with him the other day because... He doesn't hear, and how's he going to help with the soundtrack? That's just, that's what was going through my head. And two feet, oh, Texas, awesome. You own Bobby and Dave so much? How about, oh, come on now, you're starting to type like these, little girl. She could trademark Team Brantley. Good idea, Peaches. Uh, honey, these daughters are size eight. D said sold. All right. All right. I okay. Whatever you mean, Helene. <laughs> okay, well that's hard. If they block you, you don't like them anyway. Thank you, Louise. Um is it on your your Facebook, right? Email you at um, Bad Dog. Yeah, Bad Dog. Interested. Okay, D is B A D D O G V E N T U R E S. Bad Dog Ventures, all one word, at gmail.com. Bad Dog Ventures at gmail.com. Get with Melanie. Y'all do what you do, and she'll ship them out to you. Well, I mean, I was just trying to look out for your best interest, D, you know, just saying. See, Vanessa says, sounds like a deal to her, but she's got a little boy. Got you, Miss Helene, on, your, on, on my package. Barber Trash and Splash. I like the Barber Trash and Splash. You know, actually, Helene, I was going to let you trim me up a little bit the other day. I was, let, I was letting it grow out so you could trim it up, but we couldn't get to Philadelphia, okay? Philadelphia is all the way outside the state of Pennsylvania. Or oh, Broomall, excuse me, Broomall. You know, Clorinda, I agree. I don't think it's right to trademark something and make money off someone, and it isn't. But, you know, hey, people in this world... They talk out of this side, and they mean what comes out of this side. Oh, wait a minute. They don't mean what comes out of either side. They just lie. Okay, you owe me in Crazy Dave. Okay, that's much better. I'll try to spread the word about the film, Josh. It is very funny and scary at the same time. 
Thank you, Clarinda. I appreciate you splitting the profit with me. Haley Bachelor, I'm good. I'm glad you just got off work. I hope you're doing good. Well, thank you, Isaac. Hello back to Ireland. Jennifer, I froze. Why did you froze? Is, are you cold or something? Well, Dixie, if you only had one dog, then they wouldn't fight. I'm just saying. If you had one dog, he would just be like the dominant dog because it would just be one dog. You wouldn't have to, and you wouldn't have to be but one dog. We have one dog. But it's not by choice. It's just because the girls will be sad if he was to accidentally die or drink antifreeze or just run away or get run over or accidentally hang himself by his collar on a nail on a post or something. I'm just saying, you know, accidents happen. But we've still got him, and he's still here. Okay. Little Kevin Bun, I don't know. I haven't talked to Bun in months. Um, Clorinda, Tuffy's fine, I guess. We gave him food and water last week, so he's still out there, so I guess he's okay. Well, you just get with Melanie and get, get with the date, Helene, and you know me. I'll ride. I'll show up in PA. Oh, you got one. I think it's probably those reptile people, too. But, hey, it is what it is, you know. When you just have a good time and, you know, you treat other people good and other people treat you good, Josh, that's all that matters in this world, right? Just being good to other people, doing what you say you're going to do, not backstabbing, not lying, just saying. I'm glad you're doing good, Haley. <laughs> they said she would email you anything to keep from the mall. I don't agree. I like the mall. I just, I like the mall. You can people watch at the mall. You see strange things and people at the mall. We do need to get Trump in on the on the barber back on the barber splash and trash and stuff. Hey, if you get Trump, Helene, I'm there. Just saying. If you get Trump, I'm in. Hey, Marissa Kaplan, what's shaking bacon? I will tell you what is shaking bacon. I saw on TV the other day that bacon and sausage are worse for your body than smoking cigarettes. So you'd be better off smoking than you would eating bacon or sausage. Mm hmm Well, if you get rid of the inside dogs and the cats, then you'd be all right, Dixie. Jennifer Rogers had three. All right. You saw my video on that, huh? There you go. Eight dogs. Natasha, eight dogs. Yes, Haley, I had a blast. How'd you know I rode to Harley yesterday? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I, yes, I had a blast riding. Yes, Dixie, I like them all. Ha uh ha. -huh. Vanessa, I'm Bubba. I don't know where he's at, but I don't think he's as grumpy as he used to be. I think he's a little bit better. Now you're down to two dogs. Now you're learning. Okay, sounds good. Me and the baby will go shopping. But hey, you remember, you got to throw in money so we can go to Cheesecake Factory and Marble Slab. Yeah, we have to have money for that too. Really? It's going to show at the local theaters? All right. I'm glad you got a political pool. Uh, I don't see. <laughs> See, Clorinda, you didn't got like that. You're better off, Natasha, if the cats run away. I, of course I've been to Concord. I, I stopped in Concord last week, actually, Kayla. A week before last, I'm sorry. I had a great time, Debbie, at the wedding. It was freaking awesome. 
Mm. Blick on the bacon and sausage top. So yuck, I'm Muslim. You're not Muslim. There you go. KD wants you to make his haircut look like my haircut. That's what he said. Oh, you wouldn't be alone. Bye, peaches. At least you're going to make some money. Go to work. Do I pick my... Oh, no, I'll get them out. If I got a wedge, it's coming out right then. I am not waiting. There ain't going to be no letter in my mailbox. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll post it. Okay, well, then psh, there you go, Lindsay. Hmm. i do something. Okay. I, I say too much. I'm glad I got to see you too, Miss Peaches. Have a good night at work, and thank you for the baby overalls. They were too cute. See? She used to hang out at the mall when she was younger. I still think you should hang out at the mall. You can get people watch. You can see funny stuff. It's fun to ride. Yesterday was like the perfect day to ride. It really was. Okay, you've seen it on Facebook. Sometimes I post so much, I forget what I post. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not true. I will outshot mail. Honey, this woman says you, that I will find a, a bed at the mall and lay down while you shop. Yeah, she's about, um, at Babies Are Us. That was just at Babies Are Us. I was trying it out for Baby John. Yes, I, I like the mall, Vanessa. Okay, you'd be alone, Goober Goober. Hey, Jacob, what's up? Yes, you are, Josh, since you're going to be a grandfather, but congratulations. Yes, that is correct spelling. You did good, Clorinda. No, all is about the same. Nothing much has changed. Everything is just even kill. All is good. I'm new. I'm not going to be doing any more of the reptile towing shows, Isaac, if that's what you're asking. Hey, Lee, how you doing? I'm just sitting here doing my live Monday night chat, having a good time, talking to my peeps, and they're talking back. See, Jennifer wants to go to the Cheesecake Factory. She knows what it's about going to the mall. You know, Dixie, really? Amanda, you've lived a sheltered life. Marissa, <laughs> Craig, hold on, Craig, come here, baby, come here. Yeah. You see this right here? You see that right there? Look, look right here. What color are my eyes? Green. Would you say that to her? Green. What color are my eyes? Green. But she says I have. Four. See, I was just getting the limit. Maybe if I need to get closer. Now that they look green, is it? Can you see the green now? Okay, so I, I can see what you're saying. Like from right here, they do look blue, but when I get right here, can you see they're green? You can see all my wrinkles. Thanks a lot. I do like to shop, Debbie. Yes, I do. No, D, they're not blue. Okay, Lou. All right, I'm sorry, Lou. All right. You ain't never been to Cheesecake Factory, Kalinda? Girl, you got to go get some chicken and biscuits. That's what I'm talking about. I, I heard. Clorinda's getting better, though. You need some of Clorinda's medicine, Miss Debbie. Oh, you got a Cheesecake Factory that's not connected to the mall. That's not really a Cheesecake Factory if it's not in the mall. Hey, buddy, where you being, Crazy Dave? Um, Clorinda's feeling better. There's one in Birmingham. All right. Y'all are going too fast. Thank you. See, Helene told you my eyes are green. Been picking nuts and burning leaves. Hey, that's better than burning nuts and picking leaves. Just saying, crazy day. 
Corinda, she collects box tops for a customer. Because I got a bunch Corinda, of do you collect box? Do you collect the? Do you collect box tops for your classroom? Hazel and DeCarry. What's DeCarry? Oh, I'm not going to get green out of you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I like the key lime pie cheesecake. That's good. See, and now that I got to talk. Everybody's cheesecake. Do you prefer Ford or Chevy? Really? It's not even close. I got Ford. Ask KD. He's a Ford guy too. There you go, Josh. If you if you carry me to Cheesecake Factory, I'll go. Now everybody's talking to KD. I guess that means I can get off. Well, tell Jordan hello, Vanessa. No, you not miss anything good, KD. I'm all for it, Helene. What? Well, uh, see, KD is a green light. KD is okay. They do for her to get their school, honey. Yes. D says box stops are such BS. Crazy Day's got drink tabs. And D says, oh, God, I want key lime pie now. Thank you. You're very welcome, D. I'm glad I could help. So Vanessa just says it. My eyes are green. I agree, Lou. I like the forge the best. Hello, we lad, Owen. Hey, I do go to the mall sometimes and just hang out. Like me and KD, we were in Pennsylvania the other day. We went to the mall. We walked all around. We went to Buckle. Bought nothing. I tried on a pair of pants I liked. But I remembered I didn't have nothing to match them. They had like orange stitching in the pocket. Ooh, they were cool. But I didn't get them. And they had my size, 36 extra long. Clarina says they get money for their box tops. That's awesome. All right. I'll say hello to Mel. Hello, Mel from Debbie Romero. Yeah, our cheesecake factory is in the mall too. Hey, Tracy. I am doing good. You need to change it to Tracy McTaggart, not Tracy Cassidy. Honey, you want to come say hey to Tracy? She's gone. Okay. Hey. It's Tracy. The oh, she hasn't changed her name. She hasn't changed her name yet. But it's okay. I've already told everybody I was at the wedding. We had a great time at the rehearsal. I love the wedding cake, by the way. And we had a great time. Crazy day. Now he's hungry. Well, we know we're not going to Cracker Barrel, don't we, Crazy Day? No. Okay. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I'm so sorry. Okay, guys. Went to Pittsburgh and ate at a place called Central Diner. This dude named Chris. Uh, oh, God. And Dor Doria. Chris and Doria. Oh, my gosh. I had beef tips over rice. It was so amazing. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And all because Tracy brought us up there. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, you gonna, they're going to bring me back in. My, heck, yeah, we're going back. I didn't know if I was going to say anything. She, she, just, she just said she talked to Mel. Yeah. Yes, Tracy. I, I knew I liked you. And bring Drunk Girl. We want to see Drunk Girl again. We, we, like, we like picking on her. Um, See, good, Jennifer. I got a 250. I've been good, late TV. I know, KD, I should have bought those jeans. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. The gifts with all was KD. He, he's, he's such a thoughtful person. Would I wedge you myself for a million dollars? Marissa, really? Really? I would wedge you myself for five dollars. And you're saying a million? I would do, I would walk around with a wedgie all day. I would walk around the mall in my cowboy boots with a wedgie and draws all day for a million dollars and wave at people and ask them how they've been doing. 
Yes, thank you, Tracy, for the invite to the wedding. Okay, now we've got to think, was it at, at Pittsburgh Guitar KD, was it Sam, Scott, and Betsy? Because they supplied us with a box uh, to mail Helene's guitar in. Um, the people at the UPS store, however, they charge us $53 for shipping. But that's a whole other story. KD, you got to get down here so we can do what we said we were going to do with the money we got for the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Olive Garden pulled a stunt similar to Waffle House. Oh, no more Olive Garden. Well, go order your pizza, Dixie. You're going to have to fill us in on that day. I, I, I ain't going to the Waffle House no more. I will definitely not go back to the Olive Garden. Clorinda, I cannot tell you how awesome those beef tips and rice were. They were awesome. I'm sorry, Debbie, you're hungry. The drunk girl. No, no, bring back the drunk girl, Tracy. She was funny. And, and Katie says, bring hoarder gal. Oh, no, don't bring hoarder. Okay. Well, Ma, okay, well, tell Tammy I will come to Burlington for her birthday. Tracy does have cool relatives. We had a great time. At one time, it was Dave, 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 Bobby, and Bobby. Just saying. That, that's like a full house. Three days and two Bobbies is a full house. For a million dollars, Debbie, I would do it. No, I'm over 5'10". Oh, wow, y'all going so fast, I can't read them all. I'm doing good, JJ. <laughs> Honey, Dee said, tell Mel to stop. My husband just saw casserole dishes. <laughs> she's like, he's got a, she's like, he's got a good wife. He's like, no, he did D, I'm sure you can order him some takeout. Um, I have no idea about reptile towing, uh, Aramis. I'm I'm sorry. Describe your. <laughs> we we don't go to Waffle House no more, Helene. We boycott in Waffle House. Hey, Tracy, is KD not the nicest guy? I mean, isn't he freaking awesome? Bye, Helene. We'll see you next time. Okay, the Olive Garden told a police officer he would have to leave or take his gun off. I don't know what state was that in, D. <laughs> so she said, here's the bird to Olive Garden. <laughs> so Olive Garden and Red Lobster are on the same page. We thought you didn't post our video because of the drunker. We didn't post. I did post video. Melly did post a video, Tracy. Unless it got taken down because that happened if Facebook found something wrong with it. Okay, if Facebook found something wrong with it, but, but Melanie posted a video. I posted All right. All right, Josh, we'll see you. Thank you, Debbie. All right, you do that, Dixie. That's right. Watch out for the lonesome curse on Halloween night. <laughs> Good idea. I didn't like the Grumpy Dave bartender. Just saying. <laughs> Drunk girl at the corner of don't walk and don't walk. Drunk girl was funny. What do you mean KD is as funny as Bobby? KD is way funnier than I am. KD says some stuff sometimes. I just roll. Like the other night we were sitting at the wedding and I said something and KD said something back. And we just, we didn't mean to laugh, Tracy. We're sorry, but we could just could not stop. We had a great time. And out of all the people we could have sat with, we sat with the craziest people at the whole wedding, but we had a good time. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a small, I, I do what I can. Oh. Uh, D, I love you. You are so freaking funny. <laughs> Honey. What? D said, I cook tonight. He's being a butt. 
I hope he gets acid reflux. Hey, do not the Buffalo Wild Wings, it is. You want something sweet? I like the way you think, girl. How tall am I? I'm like 6'2", six 6'3", six something like that. Yeah, that's right. Tell Jennifer to hire us. We are sweet. We are very sweet, KD. Well, that knocks off Olive Garden off my list, which I really didn't like them no way. Clorinda. <laughs> hey, that's where you can hide Mallory's Christmas present in the oven. She won't never think to look for it there. Go make meatloaf, Jeff, tomorrow night. KD's my meatloaf. It's all right, honey. I enjoyed your dad. He was a nice guy. We had a good time. We really, really, really did. And it was in Independence, Missouri at the Olive Garden. Never going there. I'm sure you'll get a response on your barber's plaque. We'll see you, Helene. Yes, KD, drunk girl does want another shot. Drunk girl had me rolling. Okay. Hey, Aaron, I do what I can, brother. I do what I can. <laughs> I, I, Tracy, I honestly can't remember what me and KD were laughing at, but it was funny. And, yes, we did sit with the craziest people at the wedding reception. <laughs> Her husband does want 100, but yes. Oh, okay. Well, you can still have a present there. No pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Drunk girl might not have went home with her husband from the wedding. Oh, my God. She must oh, be invited oh, to the next one. No, she's got to be invited to the next one. Me and KD love picking on her. Oh, wow. She, got else's she may have went home with somebody else's husband. That's what Tracy says. It's okay, Clorinda. We still love you for a little by yourself. See, Dixie Caleb's coming. Aramis, I've never worked at the reptile towing place. That was just for TV. Yep, Jennifer, and that's why we're boycotting the Waffle House. We don't eat at Waffle House no more, and we don't eat at Olive Garden anymore. Drunk girls should meet Amanda, Crazy Dave. You're absolutely right. They would get along well. What do you mean, no, he didn't, Aramis? I mean, come on. <laughs> you stinky, Clorinda. Yeah, okay, Dixie, This we were at a wedding this past weekend, and this girl got a little tipsy, and she was so freaking funny saying stuff, and KD was just agging her on, and it just, it just kept growing and growing and growing like a snowball. It was freaking awesome. But exactly, Corona. <laughs> That's what it was, KT. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, Lou. Last week I was. I just didn't feel too good. I just. But this week, life is good. Yeah, like last Monday, I just. I don't know. It just. I was out of it. But I. I, I do. I did mean what I said. Um. I'm going to have to get a job, and live chat is going to have to be kind of arranged around my work schedule. I don't know how I'm going to work yet, so, but I'm going to do the very best I can to still make it happen. We worked for the production company, Jacob. True TV bought the show from a company called Zodiac. And Zodiac was a subsidiary or Clock Tower Productions was a subsidiary of Zodiac USA. That's who produced and made the show. That's who we got paid from was Zodiac or Clock Tower. I'm sorry. All right. I will do it, Helene. You got it.
<laughs> D, I think you should go eat. Thank you, Clorinda. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you very much. Well, D's got to go eat. Dixie's got to go eat. I got to go eat. Thank you, Vanessa. And then Vanessa has cleared up that I've got green eyes, not blue. Um. Uh oh, Josh has had a surprise post. Calm down, Dixie. Don't let the blood pressure get up. But anyway, guys, as always, it was awesome. Had a great Monday night. Looking forward to next Monday. Um, and I'll fill you in on how my event goes this weekend. I agree. Me and KD should have a talk show. You're welcome, Jacob. Well, fat cow, quit grazing. Thank you, Josh. Bye, Lee TV. Tracy, you just let get with mail. You know to get with mail. You know that. I'm liking the way you're thinking, Tracy. We're gonna have a good time. And me and KD, we ready to ride, girl. Hey, KD, we could ride the motorcycles up there next time if the weather's nice. Just saying, it's an idea. It's just an idea. You're welcome, JJ Vincent. It is 6.51. All right, I'll tell Mel. Thank you, D. You're very welcome. I do what I can. Bye, Miss Patty. Hearts and love and kisses and all that good stuff. We'll see everybody next week. Thank you very much, KD. I love you, brother. I'll get with you, and hopefully we can do that thing this week on the guitar money. So, everyone have a great week, and until next week, as Jerry Spring would say, be kind to one another. Not that I'm like a Springer guy, just saying.